Hey, Chef Charles back with Cooking It Easy. What are we gonna do today? You're probably wondering, right? We're gonna go with a uh, grilled cheese, if you can imagine that. Grilled cheese, you can teach me how to do a grilled cheese? You kidding me? Well, we're gonna do a little bit different today because what do we have? Jumbo lump crab. You can never go wrong with jumbo lump crab, is that right? So we have beautiful jumbo lump crab, some brioche toast in, or bread instead of uh, there's your standard bread, and we also have some beautiful brie cheese here instead of the, the uh, American or Swiss or something like that. It's a little bit different there. We're going to use some cucumbers. We're going to make a little bit of a dressing here, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, season the, the uh, jumbo lump crab first. A little bit, of, little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, okay, and a little bit of something different here. We're going to use some uh, a touch of cayenne pepper in, in it, so it gives a little bit of a bite, huh? Something different. Kind of like a crab cake, right? So just a little bit of cayenne gives it a little bit of kick. And we're going to take a squeeze of, take, take a squeeze of, of lemon, some fresh chopped dill. How, how uh, quick is this to do, right? And we know what's nice about this recipe is that you don't have to uh, do it for a sandwich that you just have for lunch or something. You can also do it for hors d'oeuvres if you're having some friends over. And uh, we're gonna put a little bit of mayonnaise in here. This will bring it all together. Uh, you, if you're having friends over and you're having a cocktail party or some glass of wine, crab goes great with, with white wine, right? So take my brioche, put it down, and put my crab on here without making a mess, hopefully. We can put some cucumbers on here, so a little bit of fresh crunch, a little, little uh, uh, freshness in the sandwich, a little bit light, right? Okay, and then we're gonna take our brie cheese. Just like that. Some fresh, yeah, actually these are, these are canned black truffles, okay? If you're gonna start cooking with me, go ahead and go to the market and get a can of black truffles, okay? So there it is, simple as that. No secrets, right? I got a pan on the fire, and um, so that we're gonna go ahead and toast this like we would a grilled cheese. And then put some butter on here so it, it'll caramel up, caramelize up nice. Here we go. Now I'll take some butter. Don't be afraid of the butter now. You gotta get it on there so that bread will toast up nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Again, you can't go wrong with grilled cheese, right? See how beautiful golden brown that is? Okay, we're just about ready to go here. Let's take a look. Perfect, perfect. So we're gonna shut that off. Our crab. Man, what a, what a feast this is, huh? Our crab, there's a couple different things you can do here. You can go ahead and you, you can cut the crust off and you can cut them into small bites if you're having friends over and hors d'oeuvres, that type of thing. Or you just go ahead and cut it off, cut it in half. Or if you wanna, if you're having tea or a glass of wine, you can also cut the crust off like so. So it's a little bit cleaner presentation. You know what I'm thinking? I think this is gonna be pretty good. Here's our beautiful crab and brie grilled cheese. What do you think? Cooking with Chef Charles, can you do this at home? I'm thinking you can. Keep it easy, cooking with Chef Charles. See you next time.